hi everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to make a bralette um i have a retain pattern already for this but i've decided to release a video tutorial for it the retain pattern is free it's in the description uh, box below it's free you can find it on my coffee you can find it uh, on my rivalry store i'm using this double knit yarn um, and i'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook although the yarn recommends a four millimeter because it's just going to make the braid firm the other things i'm going to need is uh, a darning needle and a pair of scissors so we're going to make two cups and then join them together so i'm here i'm just going to show you how to make the first cup you're going to make a slip knot and then make a chain based on your size i'm making a chain of 26 which is a medium size and then you're going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook i single crochet in the back bumps because it just gives a good finish and then single crochet in all the stitches across once you're at the end of the row just finish your single crochet chain one and turn the turning stitch counts as a stitch so you have 26 stitches turn and then single crochet across again and you're going to work five more rows of single crochet to make six uh, for the different sizes I have put just a knot here in the video of how many rows you need to make before you start decreasing so go ahead pose and go and make those um rules and i'm going to come back when i have completed my six uh, row of single crochet so i've now completed my six rows and i've chained one and i'm going to turn so so what we're going to do from here is we're going to de be decreasing at the beginning and at the end until we have three stitches left so we'll be decreasing in one row and then the next row will there'll be no decrease so it's an alternate of decrease and no decrease until we have three stitches left so to decrease you're going to insert your hook in the next stitch pull up your loop you have two stitches on the hook and then insert in the next stitch pull through you have three loops on your stitch yarn over and pull through that is your decrease then you're going to single crochet across all the stitches until you have three stitches left then we're going to decrease again and then finish the row so i have three stitches left here so i'm going to decrease in the next two stitches which is insert your hook yarn over and pull through you have two stitches on the loop insert into the next stitch yarn over and pull through you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three stitches that is your end decrease and then single crochet in the very last stitch chain one and turn the next row so this is row seven this number of rows would differ depending on the size you're making i'm making a medium so this is row seven which is a decrease so row eight we're not going to decrease we're just going to single crochet across all the stitches and i'm at the end of my row i'm going to single crochet in the last stitch yarn over and pull through so that's it so what we're going to do from here is alternate row seven and row eight so all the odd number rows, 7, 9, 11, 13, and so on, will be decreased row, decreased rows, and the even number rows like 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, there'll be no decrease. So I'm just going to do my next row, which is row 9, an odd number, which is a decrease. So I'm going to decrease at the beginning, 
and then decrease oh uh, sorry and then work single crochet until I have three stitches left and then decrease and my next row will be no decrease so just continue decreasing and not decreasing until you have three stitches left and I'm going to see you when I am done in essence you're basically making a triangle so your bra cup will look like a triangle and I will see you when I have my three stitches there are two ways to finish the top straps so for this one because I'm working one color I'm just going to continue the straps but if you work the written pattern I join the straps separately because I wanted to do um, these colors so there are two ways of finishing the top straps but the bottom part is the same so I'm going to do way number one method number one which is just continuing with the straps chain one and turn and work the three stitches until you have a hundred to a hundred and fifty stitches this would depend on your size but a hundred to a hundred stitches oh sorry rows will work so just continue until you have your hundred rows and then cut your yarn so I'm going to see you when I'm done for us to join the two cups if you want to see the second method here um, just go to the chapters and you're going to find joining the straps alternative two right so you'll find this uh, method that I did for which is in the written pattern I think what I'm going to do is I'll update the written pattern to include this first method if you're just using one color so go ahead and pose and go and finish your first strap and then I'm, we're going to come back and join the two bra cups together I'm now done with my two bra cups as you can see with the straps as I said this is the first method to go to the second method go to the chapters and find the alternative two okay so these you're going to weave um, you're going to be weaving the tail so don't mind them now we're going to join the two together so what you do is you take your yarn you take your yarn make a slip knot and make a chain uh, you can make a chain uh, your bust size plus half of it so if your bust is 36 plus 18 or you can just go and look at the pattern that will give you the exact number of chains that you need to make and based on the pattern I need to make 120 stitches so I'm going to make 120 stitches and I will see you when I'm done so I've done my chain of 20 and then I'm going to take my first bra cup, right, with the strap and get into the corner here. So this is my chain, which I've made. I'm just going to insert my hook here and then go to the first chain on the corner. I'm starting from where I finished because I want to carry the yarn under and cover it up so I don't have to weave it in. So I'm going to in the corner single crochet so yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through that's your first stitch of your bra cup so continue to single crochet across all the 26 stitches
you can pause here and go and single crochet and I'll see you when I'm done so this is my 26 stitch remember I initially made 26 stitches I finished that then I chain one pick up the second brack up and once again start from the corner here you're going to carry the yarn under so you don't have to weave it in and then insert your hook into the corner stitch and work a single crochet so your two cups are joined together and then just single crochet all the 26 stitches across so now I'm at the very last stitch so I've got 26 then I'm going to chain 120 like I did on the other side so chain 120 and then we're going to single crochet uh, across to the other side three times and then cut and weave in your ends if you're changing colors then you would do the first row in one color the second row in another color and the third in another color or whatever sequence that you choose so go ahead and work your three rows of single crochet for the bottom part and then you're done so this is alternative two of finishing up the bra cap so you'd have gotten to your three stitches so what you do is you cut your yarn you're gonna have to weave this in later so these are the three colors that I'm going to use for my straps so this is my main color this is the color I've used for this so I'm gonna put in the center just for style but you can choose your color sequence the way you want so I'm gonna start with this the uh, reddish brownish color and I'm going to chain 100 so I'm going to chain 100 one two three four I'm gonna see you when I'm done with my chain 99 100 I'm done with my chain and then I'm going to single crochet across all the stitches and once again I wake in the back bumps it just looks better really there's no real impact so you can pause and go and work your single crochets and I'll see you when I'm done with my uh, when I'm at the end of the row I'm now at the end of my row and I will change to the second end color as I said I'm going to use my main color um, in the middle so what I'll do is in the very last stitch insert your hook yarn over and pull through don't finish that stick uh, that stitch pick up your second color make a slip knot and pull through so i'm going to work another row of single crochet all the way back but what i'm going to do is i'm going to carry my tail and the first yarn and work under it so i don't have to weave in the ends so chain one turn your work and then single crochet across all the stitches carrying the tail i'm going to turn my work and i'm going to carry 
the for the first color and the tail and dress so i don't have to even the ends as i said and then just work single crochets i'm leaving this to join so i'm going to single crochet across all the stitches until the end and then i'm going to change to the third color to this color so you can go ahead and pose and we will meet when i am at the end of the row the yarn you're carrying you can drop it at any point but the longer you carry it the better and i'll see you at the end of the row so i'm now at the end of my row and in the very last stitch i start my single crochet and then i finish with my third color then chain one turn and you're going to carry the tail of your new yarn and the second color under so you don't have to weave in the ends so go on and single crochet across until you reach the end and when you do weave in your ends and then we're going to join to this back up all right so i'm done with my strap my strap of three so what i'm going to do is i have this tail here i'm just going to braid it i'm just going to braid it my tail okay and then i'm going to take one end it doesn't matter which end you choose it really doesn't if you've weaved in well you won't even see the weaving and then i'm going to um single crochet sorry <laughs> look at listen to me i'm going to thread through the first um the first stitch of the strap and then do it again i normally just yarn over this to make it a little bit tighter and then from the back thread into the middle stitch so you're going to start from the strap into the middle stitch all right and then go into the very last stitch of your bralette and the last stitch of your strap and thread through repeat that but you can hand over and weave through and you've joined your strap then you just weave in your tail i normally just do a random weave in if i have room but if i don't then i do the line one but just a random weave in the stitches and you're done cut your yarn and you're done this one you're going to cover it when you're making the strap at the bottom so this is now how your brack up looks like before you join it with the other one so go to chapter joining the bottom strap and continue with the same method as the other brunette
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications.